Hi, my name is Ivy Nguyen and I'm the Director of Total Rewards here at Talent. So what does being AAPI mean to me and how has this shaped the person I am today? Well, being AAPI has and always will be a part of my identity. Being daughter to an immigrant Vietnamese family who arrived in the U.S. soils in 1989 has always been made apparent to me that I'm different. I grew up in a non-English speaking household and got my exposure to English through the media, primarily cartoons. I was classified as shy all the way up to the third grade. And yes, I am an introvert, but the main reason why I did not speak English and speak much in school was because I would be mocked and made fun of when I said things wrong. I would also often be made fun of for the food I brought as lunch because one, it either spelled with fish sauce, which is very common in Vietnamese cuisine, or was so exotic looking that kids didn't know what to make of it. I mean, what child brings octopus to an American school. Um, this was before the days where foods like pho and all the Korean barbecue and such were made popular, so a lot of kids just didn't know what to make of this food. I remember I would beg my parents to buy me a hot lunch of either school pizza or grilled cheeses and even chocolate milk, even though I was lactose intolerant. It wasn't until I met my elementary school best friend that I really opened up and that's because I finally had a community and support to be who I am unapologetically. So this brings me to the question of how can a non-Asian show up for the AAPI community and stand in solidarity? It's as simple as showing up. It's as simple as accepting that our experiences may vary or that you may not have witnessed the violence against the AAPI community, but it is happening and that you accept that and you do not support it. It's listening to those around you and their experiences and what they have gone through. It's amplifying the voices of those in the AAPI community and ensuring that their voices are heard. So please join us in spreading awareness to stop Asian hate.